when we're on a break. Nobody? Ever again? That sounds a bit extreme. Well, you think so? What do you think is the first step in loving yourself? You seem to know the answer. Why don't you tell me? Flowers. Flowers. Precisely. Nowadays, I'm hanging around near the metro station in considerable safety and all. But before I joined the PKs, I used to live down in Trinity. I had a shop there, the Blooming Tulip, near the bazaar when it was still the Church of the Holy Trinity. I was raised in an orphanage among a multitude of apathetic people. <laughs> Maybe that's why I turned to flowers. But after the outbreak, people stopped buying them. Well, that's understandable. Certainly, but... Uh, there was this old lady. I basically kept the store open just for her. She'd come every day, as if nothing had changed. Her visits <laughs> were the highlight of my day. Until one day she didn't show. What happened to her? Her flowers ate her alive. How should I know? I was growing these special pink roses for her. It was her last order. And I simply couldn't throw them all away. So I kept one of the roses and dried it. Just for her. She'd be delighted to know that you never forgot her. Yeah. If only I could get that rose to her. Could you take it? She never said where she lived precisely, but I asked her once where she kept all her flowers. She said, in a beautiful house made of glass, where the old mound used to be. Here, take the rose. Please find the house and give it to her, if she's still there. those GRE labs. Everybody knows their hell holes. Anyone got a cigarette? House made of glass. Reminds me of that flower lady. Hmm. Maybe I should check it out. Farewell, flower lady. 
So this is her story. I understand now why she went to his flower shop every day. Her son should know that he was loved. Like make them like they used no, to. No. I found her. I'm afraid she... She had passed away. She was with her flowers. So... She died in peace. She did, yes. She wrote a letter and actually mentioned you. She did? Yes. Here. I think you should read it. This old lady was... My mother? So many times as a kid, I imagined how she'd look. I'd see other kids at the park with their mothers, and I'd have this knot in my stomach, feeling I could never see mine, knowing I could never hold her hand, thinking she never even cared, when in fact, she did care. I did see her every day for years. I never expected that she... <sighs> Maybe this is why I couldn't throw away her flowers. Thank you, Aiden. Love isn't dead after all. I'm, uh... I'm gonna need some time alone now. <sighs> Thank you for giving her the rose. I'll uh, see you around, Aiden. 